Welcome back to MG Marine Tech. And today we are going to be covering one of my favorite features and that is quick draw contouring. This feature allows you guys to create your own custom maps of any body of water, whether it already has maps and they're inaccurate or it doesn't have maps at all. There are tons of things you can do with it. So this video might get a little lengthy, but stick with me because I think it's gonna be beneficial for all of you guys out there. Let's dive into quick draw contouring. And as always, if you guys like what you see, please subscribe, hit that notification button. And if there's things you guys wanna see or you have questions on this video, drop a comment down below and I'll get to those as soon as possible. Let's dive in. So let's cover some of the absolute basics of quick draw contouring. And the first thing that you're going to need is a SD card loaded into your machine. This is a 16 gigabyte card, but you can use up to a 32 gigabyte and a class 10 is recommended for these units. Now the process for starting to record a quick draw contouring is very simple. So let's show you how to do that. Once you have an SD card loaded to your machine, you are now ready to start mapping out your body of water. But how do you start recording? Very, very simple. You can either click on your fishing chart here and go to the menu that way, or click on menu here, go to fishing chart menu, and then quick draw contours menu. Once you're there, you will see the button to start recording. It is simply an on off switch. So if I click it once, it'll start recording and a little red recording icon will pop up here. Once I am done recording, I can hit stop recording and it's as simple as that. Once you are recording, you simply drive around your lake or body of water that you want to map out. And I will show you a little segment of me driving around a lake just to show you what the chart looks like as it's updating with the actual depths and contours. From the quick draw contours menu, you can do several things and we'll start to run through those. Obviously there's the start and stop recording, which is denoted by the record symbol here but there's also display. Button to the left of display allows you to just turn them on and off, but this little arrow over here brings up another menu which allows you to pick the types of contours that you want to display, and we'll dive into these just in a little while. Now, under manage, you have an active card, uh, the name that you are recording to, and then this copy and delete function. Active card is something that you want to uh, keep in mind, especially if you have a networked system with more than one card or units such as ultras that have more than one card loaded to them. Um, this is something to be aware of. This active card is the card that you are recording to and it is also the card that the system is reading from. Now this name feature allows you to create a name for this uh, card or this file. Now this copy and delete function allows you to actually create a backup of all your quick draw contours to another card or delete the contours that are on that card. Now one thing you'll want to be aware of with the copy feature is that there cannot be other quick draw contours on the card that you want to copy it to. Now under the settings menu for quick draw contouring there are several offsets and we will dive into these offsets later as these are a very very uh, crucial part of quick draw contours and allow you to do some pretty cool stuff especially once uh, water depths have changed. Once you start recording you will notice that there is a circle around your boat icon and that the map starts to update. Now obviously we're not on the water but the important thing here is that this circle can be three different colors. It can be green, yellow, or red, and each of those colors mean different things. The first and best is green. Now green means that you have good GPS data, you have good depth data, and the recording is being done between zero and 10 miles an hour. The second color is yellow. Yellow means that you have a good GPS signal a good depth signal and the speed at which you are at are taking the recording is between 10 and 20 miles an hour. Now that is why these are yellow because they may be skewed because of the speed. The third color is red and red are bad recordings or inaccurate and they can be inaccurate for a couple of reasons. One being that you either do not have a GPS signal or lost your GPS signal for a second 
or you have no depth signal, maybe there's something over your transducer or it's out of the water like I am right now, or three, the recording is being done over 20 miles an hour. So that area of influence is actually logged under a feature called survey coloring. So anytime that your um, area of influence changes colors, that is logged along with the uh, quick draw contouring and I'll explain that right now. So to turn survey coloring on, you go to your menu, hit quick draw contouring, and you can either go to settings and turn on survey coloring, or you can go to display and turn on survey coloring, but you have to be recording at the moment. So we'll turn survey coloring on here, and we will go back to our map, and to an area that I have already recorded, and you will see it has shaded the recorded areas either green, red, or yellow. Now there won't be any yellow in this recording, but there is a lot of green and red. So again, these colors correlate exactly with the colors of the area of influence, with green being good recordings, yellow being recordings that are uh, between 10 and 20 miles an hour, and red are recordings that are either over 20 miles an hour or don't have a depth source or good GPS source. So this is a way that you can check all of your maps to see if they are accurate and areas that you may have to re-record. And it's as simple as just driving over them slower to re-record them. One of the things some people get confused with with quick draw contouring is they say, hey, I've uh, recorded a bunch of areas and I can't find them on here. Well, you have to make sure that the quick draw contouring is on. but under this display there are a couple of different options so if you click the arrows to the right you can display individual uh, different types of contours so user contours are contours that you have created and community contours are contours that are downloaded from the uh, quick draw community on the active captain app which I will show you how to do um, but let's show you what I mean and the, by the difference of them so quick draw community contours right here are turned on and we'll go back to our map and once it refreshes you will see these areas are that are boxed off are areas that have been downloaded uh, from the active captain app in the quick draw community onto my chart plotter here and we can zoom in and see the areas that have been um, that have been mapped and these are mapped by other people and have been uploaded to the Garmin quick draw community now if we wanted to turn those off and only see the your your own personal maps you just go to the display again you turn off community contours and then you turn on user contours and these can be on at the same time if we go back the map will update and again only areas that are under the user contours are highlighted with the boxes. Here is the process for downloading Active Captain's Community Quick Draw Contours. You just go to download Active Captain Community Contours. This will bring up your map and any area that is highlighted with like a little red blotch will be a lake that has some Community Quick Draw Contours available for download. So these will load up. You can then click the area and a box will display. You can change the size of this box and this is the area that is going to download. Once you click download, it will download to your phone or tablet. And then you have to sync with your devices. So you would uh, then be sending these maps to your chart plotter, which will make them visible on your chart plotter. Let's talk about some tips that you can use out on the water with quick draw contouring to keep your maps as accurate as possible or build the most accurate maps. First thing and probably obvious thing is keeping that circle around your boat icon or known as the area of influence green for as much of the time as possible. Now like I said before that means staying under 10 miles an hour but also having a good GPS signal and a good depth signal. Now the second thing is is when you are mapping a body of water if possible do a cross pattern so drive through the lake like so and then drive through the lake 
crossing with your tracks. Now this covers both ways and really will make the contours kind of meet up and everything will flow together smoothly. The third thing is it all boils down to time on the water. So the more time you spend with quick draw contouring on and on that body of water, the more detailed and accurate that map is going to be. Now there is a little bit of a side note to that and it, it has to do with weeds. So we all know that if you're in a lake with a bunch of weed cover that it can fool the depth reading on your sonar and that you can get a, a false bottom or whatnot. That will be recorded in quick draw contouring. So if you are on a lake that has a lot of heavy weed cover later on in the year, it is best to scan those lakes or those areas early on in the uh, spring or early on in the year when the weed cover is at a minimum. The last thing you can do for the most accurate maps is add things like a heading sensor, or updated GPS systems. Um, these give your maps just the most pinpoint accurate GPS source as possible, um, but the standard head unit is uh, plenty good for 99% of the people out there. Now, the other great feature of quick draw contouring, what I use a lot on this river especially, is the ability to put layers on your quick draw mapping. Um, so, for instance, depth shading. This river fluctuates depth quite often, and there are some shallow areas that if you're not aware of, you can you know run aground and break some stuff. So, uh, I'll show you what I do. So, if I go to my layers, and then water, and I turn on my depth shading. Now, this is all set up in here, and I will be covering this in a, a future video, so stay tuned for that. But we go back to our map here, and as you can see, it will actually shade the different depths of water, which gives me a visual cue of places that I need to be aware of that are shallow and potential issues. So, for example, if I if I know the water is down on the river, I really need to be careful going through here or you know stay to the right. But that is a great feature is that quick draw contour maps work just like factory installed maps, letting you use any of the layers, etc. Another feature of quick draw contouring is the ability to apply different offsets for water depths. So to get to those, go to your menu, quick draw contours, and go to settings. Now you will see three different types of offsettings: recording offset user displayed offset, and com display offset. So the first type of offset is a recording offset. Now, where you would use recording offset is say you partially had recorded a body of water and now you're coming back to it at a later date. And say the water has gone up two foot. So now you would have to actually remove that two feet to keep everything accurate. So you would go into your recording offset, you'd hit negative zero, two to remove that two feet hit done and then go on your way recording now this keeps everything at a level playing field and accurate the second offset is user displayed offset and this is probably what you'll use most often and find most handy so I'll show you what it does if we go to this area that I have mapped already we can see that this body of water is five foot right here say that the water has gone up five foot we can go back to our quick draw contours, settings, user displayed. Now we can add five foot, and this will add five foot to all the quick draw contours. It's a global change. So now we go back to that same area, and it's added five foot, so now it's 10 foot. The last offset is your COM display offset. Now this stands for Garmin's Community display offset so this is for any map that you have downloaded to your machine from the Garmin quick draw community so say that body of water is five foot off this is where you would adjust that setting you know just plus zero five just as the other one so the last feature I'm going to talk about is getting your own quick draw contours onto your active captain app so you can view them on your phone tablet or whatnot now this is going to require you to enable contributing to the Garmin quick draw community which means anything that you have mapped now everybody else will be able to then download it onto their phones tablets and then onto their chart plotters so I will show you how to do that through the Garmin active captain app that is a wrap on quick draw contouring now I know it was long-winded 
but I hope you guys can see why I love this feature so much just because of how many things you can do with it, how versatile it is, as well as it's just cool to be able to build your own maps of any body of water. If you guys like what you see on my channel, please subscribe and stay tuned for more tips and tricks on MG Marine Tech.